Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Shayna of thethickestclosets.com and I always love having you guys here. So as you read the title of the video, we are doing a DIY canopy bed for today. And I'm super excited because one, I've never done anything DIY-y at all. It's not my, it's not my wheelhouse. It's not my lane. It's not my ministry, if you will. But I was really excited to try something different for this month. This video is sponsored by my friends, the fam at Helix Sleep. They are a premium mattress in a box brand. <laughs> and they launched a mattress called the Helix Plus, which is made specifically for plus size bodies. Now I've had my mattress since probably about the early fall 2020 and I am completely completely obsessed with my mattress for a number of reasons. One, it's actually a very quiet mattress so there's no squeaking or too much noise as you're moving throughout the night if you're moving at all. Your partner and you can sleep soundly throughout the night without much of an issue. I love how my sleep has improved tremendously. This one fact that like I'm just sleeping better. I love the cooling technology that it does have. So now that like spring is officially spring now, <laughs> but as the warmer months start coming around, I know for a fact my, I won't be waking up in a pool of sweat or like a, just a sweaty mess like I have in the past with other mattresses. So, so if you were on the market for a new mattress, please give Helix Sleep and the Helix Plus mattress some serious consideration. To get you started, they do offer a sleep quiz to kind of get an idea of you, your body, and your particular sleep patterns. It helps you make shopping for a mattress way easier <laughs> and of course because i got y'all if you use my code that is down below you get 200 dollars off your first mattress and you get two free pillows and um listen i was someone and i'm talking from the pillow perspective i was someone that was like oh i'm gonna only buy cheap pillows <laughs> never again that's never gonna happen again because after my helix sleep pillows i now have champagne taste in pillows okay we're not doing more beer bottle pillows got it <laughs> But I'm really excited to get into this video. I have no clue what I'm doing and we're going to roll with the punches and I hope that uh, <laughs> everything comes out great. So <laughs> if you're an oldie, but a goodie, uh -huh, you know, I have nothing but love you. So please, everyone hit the bell notification down below so that way you're notified every single time I upload a new video here on my channel. And with all that being said and done, <laughs> all sounds of mighty bodies are clear. Let's go ahead and hop into this video. <laughs> To figure out how I was going to get this done, I was trying to figure out the best way to have the canopy hang because obviously I have no pillars on my bed whatsoever. But I figured I can tack it up to my ceiling somehow and then just like let it drape. Obviously I can't drill holes in my ceiling whatsoever so we had to make some provisions. That's exactly what we did here folks. So I went and brought these command strip hanger thingies. These things actually last quite a long time once they're stuck. I have quite a few of them around the room and these work pretty well and then i stopped at ikea and i brought their little curtains these are the cheapest and the most sheer that they do have and they were on sale for only five dollars so i got four packs because two panels come in each pack and so i figured two four six eight so that's what we're gonna get away with one tip that I have for these command hooks, this is perfect for you to avoid a mistake that I made. When you're attaching them to your ceiling, you wanna make sure that the backs of the hooks are actually facing each other. So that way when you do attach your string, the tension from the string will pull the hooks towards each other. Because if you do it the other way around, you run the risk of the knots falling off the hook and we don't want that. So to string up the curtains, I found this string from michael's it was in the jewelry section i could not let me find any string that was strong enough in michael's and i was not making a run to home depot like it i wasn't doing it so this is what we got <laughs> What I just realized is that these panels are really, really long. So I probably didn't even need all four bags or all four packs. I probably could just cut one panel in two and that'll work for each side of the bed. So that'll probably be what we're gonna do. So let me go ahead and get to cutting. Thank you. 
After I cut my curtains, I measured out how much string I would need for this side of the bed. I tied a double knot on the hook on one side, measured it out, and then cut off all of the excess string that I didn't need. And then to get started to string the curtain onto the string, I simply just tied it to the pole of my broom. I slipped the pole through the curtain and boom, boom, I was able to string up the curtain onto the string. It made it way easier so I didn't have to struggle trying to get the string through the curtain itself. It like best hack ever. <laughs> I'm being perfectly honest with you guys. So now that I already knew how much string I had to work with, I did a two strand twist on the end, finished it off with a triple knot and just added it to the hook and boom, boom. First set of curtains are up. are a little too long for ceiling to floor so I'm going to cut off some and actually that's what I'm going to use to link these bad boys together. You never feel the way I feel. You don't know if my love is real. Baby listen to me here's the deal when you're not I'm not the same I'm needing a new chapter, babe Been stuck here in a bed for days I've been staring at the telephone Cause when you're gone, I miss your face Late o'clock, body talk There's no need to bring it up Nothing you say makes it better to dress up my room i found these uh indoor outdoor curtain lights from tj maxx they're only like 12 dollars. they're gonna add a nice little touch for when i just want a little some light in the room but i don't want to keep the overhead light on and this has like nine different functions so totally works for me and then i went ahead and got me a new bed set i figured this year i'm going to actually put some energy into getting nice comfy and good looking bed sets for my bed and this jewel toned one from target super cute i was actually in target looking at this one or like a rust color but this one spoke to my heart more and so here we are And then I found this really nice area rug from Ikea for only $40 and I'm really happy about it. And some last minute touches, I have some faux hydrangeas, this really cute little like decorative but first coffee that came from TJ Maxx as well. And then a nice candle I got from Marshalls, which is <laughs> also TJ Maxx. Give me the good this time, no cap, no lights, our own core. Take it 
it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I've been hanging by myself, asking for help, but nothing seems to work on you. Yeah. You. 